Okay, so I'm dead. I'm dead. And at some point in your life, you're going to want your dad's guidance in some way, shape or form. And I'm not there to do it, so I'm going to try and do it here. I'm going to try my best. The only thing is, my best is usually pretty shit, so you're just going to have to take what you get. I guess the first thing you're going to need advice on is women. (laughs) Where do I even fucking start? Alright, we'll start here. Go to your mum, tell her I love her, and give her a kiss on the cheek and say it's from dad. That's a pretty good indication of what the relationships between men and women are like. I'm dead. I'm no longer here. And I'm still trying to get in the good books with your mum. Once you find the right one, that's what you'll be spending most of your life doing. Trying to stay in the good books. You know, I've been with girls, I've been chasing girls since I was like 10 years old. And I'm going to tell you this honestly, they're still a complete fucking mystery to me. I have no fucking idea how they work. They all seem insane to me. They are insane. But they're the best thing in the world. They're the only thing that makes life bearable most of the time. Is women. They can also make your life unbearable as well, so... Watch out for that. I'm going to tell you as much as I know about women and relationships, and it may not even be correct information. It's just what I know. And a lot of this is not coming from my actions. I was no angel. On the most part, I probably treated women very badly, with no good reason, because they always treated me well. So some of the advice I'm going to give you is from the mistakes I made, not from my actions. Because like I said, I was no fucking angel. And it's going to be in no particular order either. It's not going to be the most important to the least important. It's just going to be whatever comes into my head. Mostly, you're going to have to learn your own lessons. Okay. Don't be a pussy. If you know it's not the right girl, break up with her. It's the right thing to do. Don't string them along because you have doubts and fears and you don't want to be alone, and you're not sure if you'll ever get another girl again, don't drag them along. If they're not the right girl, as soon as you figure that out, just break up with them. It's a short-term pain. It's going to hurt, but the damage of wasting so much time is sometimes irreversible. And I'm not talking about your time either. You're a guy. You're going to have many more opportunities to fuck up. Women don't really have that luxury. So if you waste four or five years of a woman's life that you know you're not going to be with down the track, you just can't do that to someone. It's just not fair. So just have the balls to break up with someone when you know they're not going to be the one. You usually know early on. Just be very honest with yourself. If you ask yourself honestly, you'll know if that's the right person. On the flip side to that, When you've found the one you think you're meant to be with, and you usually know that pretty early too. Don't be a pussy. Don't give her up because you want to fuck other girls. Don't go, I'm not ready to settle down. Because here's the thing. You're going to spend a lot of your life wanting to have sex with women and girls, ladies. And you're going to want to have sex with almost all of them. And you're going to try and have sex with almost all of them. And that will be... All you do and all you think about for a very, very long time. There will really be no other goal in your life than to do that. But sex really isn't that important. It's not important. Connection is more important. You'll figure it out. If you have sex enough, it will eventually hollow you out. And if you have enough meaningless sex, it ends up being no different to a drug. What you're really going to be looking for is connection, a deep connection with someone. That makes sex better. That makes everything better. You want a partner. You want someone who you can share your life with. And the other part of that don't be a pussy thing is when you're in a relationship with the right person, don't give up immediately. Don't give up straight away. Don't have one fucking fight and then give up. 
Everyone fights. Fighting is natural. Women love to fucking fight. They will fight for any reason. Boredom. They're hungry. They hate you. <laughs> That's an important... By the way, that is a very important reason. They do hate you. Even if they love you, they hate you. And all the things they were initially attracted to you by, all the things they fell in love with, they will eventually become all the things they hate you for. So you're going to have to fight just to hold your ground. But relationships are fucking hard work. Even if you find the one, love at first sight, you get married, you do everything, you still need to work at it all the time. There's going to be fights. There's going to be periods where you fucking hate each other. But you just keep fighting through it and come out the other end. You just don't give up. People give up so quickly now. People either stay in relationships that they know aren't going to work or they give up immediately on relationships that might work. But yeah, eventually after long enough, you will figure out it's not just the sex you want. You want that connection. You want that deep bond with another human being that's what you really crave you want to be in love and love is also a very fucking tricky thing to navigate as well because love isn't really that good feeling you get you know that feeling where you meet someone and you feel it in your gut and it's beautiful and you're like i'm in love with that person i feel it i'm in love that's not love That's infatuation. That is, I like this girl a lot. Love is what are you willing to endure with another human being? Are you going to go down into the dark depths with this person and for this person? Or are you going to bail as soon as it gets a little bit hard? That's love. Are you willing to go to the depths when it gets hard? Are you willing to hang around? That's the love. It doesn't feel like love. It feels like a nightmare. When you have a kid, that's the hardest part because unless you're with someone you truly love, you really, really 100% love, the pregnancy, the early childbirth, it's going to ruin you. It's going to destroy the relationship. That's the toughest part of the relationship is getting through that little period. That's why you have to choose correctly. If there's any doubt, you cannot have a kid. If there's any doubt at all, do not have a kid with this lady. That's the most important advice I can give you. Unless, I'm going to say it again, unless you are 100% sure that you love this woman and she loves you and you're going to spend the rest of your life with her, do not have a kid with her. Because going through the whole kid thing is enough to break up any relationship, even if it is 100%. You're still only 50% chance of making it, even if you are 100% sure of this girl. But at least give yourself the 50% chance. (laughs) But have your fun. You're going to have your fun anyway. Just remember there's limits to it. Just remember the fun ends up being hollow in the end. You're not going to fuck yourself to enlightenment. I can tell you that right now. I'm not going to bother with the normal shit, the shit you're going to learn in like sex ed, condoms, STDs, gives a fuck. You need some practical fucking advice. See, the thing is you're much, much better looking than I am. So your experience with women is going to be a lot different to mine. I really had to work my ass off. I had to work real hard. Even dating is completely different now to what it was back in my day. You have dating apps and shit like that. There was none of that when I was growing up. You went to a bar, you had a few drinks, you spoke to a girl, you charmed them, and then they left you for a better looking dude. (laughs) That's how it works. But there's going to be some universalities. There's going to be some crossover. The first thing I would advise you to do is develop a personality. Have some fucking character. Character trumps everything. And the only way there really is to develop character is 
Throw yourself to the wolves. Put yourself in difficult situations and see what you're fucking made of. Make yourself uncomfortable. Take the beating. Learn from it. Come back better. That's character. That's how you develop character. Learn to hold a conversation. Have a mind of your own and use it. When you're speaking to women, listen to them. When they're talking, listen. It's going to be hard. (laughs) I know it's going to be hard. But try and actually listen. It helps. If you can listen to the words they're saying, you're ahead of the game. Learn to dance. If you learn to dance, you're already ahead of 97% of the male population. Learn to dance. Wear some nice shoes. Wear some nice clothes. Smile. Just generally, don't be a dick. But there's only really so much advice I can give you. You're going to have to learn yourself. You're going to make mistakes. Just learn from your mistakes. But the most important thing is just be honest. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with others. Your gut is a very good guide. Try to be a good man. There's enough hurt and pain in the world without you adding to it. Okay, that's all I've got for the moment. But you may not even need to use it. Because the thing is, you're only three and a half at the moment. I don't even know if you're straight. You could be gay. And if you are gay, everything I just said is redundant. If you're gay, the only bit of advice I can give you is go out there and get that dick. (laughs) All right. All right. I'm your dad. I'll always be your dad. I love you and I'll see you on the other side.